why worm parceling and serving. It's mainly a preservative process. As you can see here, this, this is a four stay off the Endeavour Bark replica when it was replaced. It's a natural fibre rope with a natural fibre worming. And in that case, it's also covered in a uh, preservative to pres to reduce rot if water gets on it it runs off or stop it soaking in and rotting the rotting the interior of the rope uh, in a modern ship such as the James Craig or relatively modern should I say all the standing rigging foot ropes some block strops and stirrups uh, wire rope of this this type which is made up of this one seven strands two four I beg your pardon five strands two four five strands and it's laid similar to a fibre rope but of course in the salt water atmosphere of the sea it's very it can be very uh, susceptible to corrosion and rust etc so it needs protecting now in the James Craig there's various diameters of this rope the shrouds for example then the foot ropes are probably about the same as this and the same with strop blocks now what we're going to do in this this video is not so much look at worm parceling service serving wire rope but we'll do it on natural fiber so it's on a larger scale and you can learn the principles of doing it and then apply that to to wire rope when the time comes uh, on a vessel like the Craig because there's oh goodness knows how many miles of wire rope in all the shrouds and etc occasionally they are subject to chafe and need repair so we'll look at how you can repair the serving without undoing the whole lot and when time comes you'll be able to participate some of you may already have done this when yards have been sent down and foot ropes have been inspected and have to be undone so you can see what's happening inside uh, and any rust is removed then treatment if there is uh, formulas are applied to the wire and then it is wormed and then sorry parceled and then wormed the process in brief is to worm in other words place as it's shown here in the grooves to build them up and then you wrap them with a either a cloth tape or a tape soaked in preservative this is wrapped around it and then the serving goes on top this little section here is a repair which we will we'll go through okay so now we'll have a look at some of the tools you might use for this process as I mentioned we and now I'll just have a brief look at the tools we'll use uh, particularly geared to this demonstration which we'll be using a natural fiber rope when parceling and serving it so for this exercise we need uh, probably for now Swedish feed and maybe a couple of prickers our puller could come in handy a set of grips that might be required to hold it at some stage while we regroup and then of course method of tensioning it use a um, 
Spanish windlass or I have a, a small block and tackle. Again, it's essential that the uh, job be fully tensioned. One, to hold it steady while you're working on it and two, so that if it's under tension and then if it relaxes after you finish, well that'll tend to squeeze your serving together and make it a little bit more waterproof. With tension and taken care of, then the next thing of course is to use a, a serving board. Now you've seen some of these, but ones that looked a little bit like this one. And there's a lot of jobs, some of the jobs are unusual, so you might have to even make up something to suit a particular job. Even a one like so is handy. This has got a hole in it so you can put a put a, a reel on the side of it. Uh, particularly useful if you're going to have a fairly long job and you don't want to con uh, continually stopping to to uh, renew your line and pass balls around the stay as you'll see when we do the job. Another another form of that is this fellow here which will take a commercial size roll of this is pre-treated pre-treated cord with uh, lanolin uh, when you're applying this particularly to wire you put enough pressure on it that you actually see the lanolin and come through to the surface so and you can have a uh, this one's designed so you can have diff different size feet depending on the size of the job you're doing this is another board type serving board on which it, again a uh, reel can be attached to hold the line This one here is an upscale version. Uh, this end comes out and you can put a rather large reel on the outside to, to do your job. In our seizing exercise, we may have mentioned these two fellows, which could also be used for serving, but laying on wire to a seizing, but uh, we won't be using those for this job. But I guess the message is, uh, this is another one, this is another little one I think we saw before. Again, these things, depending on the size, of the worm parceling serving, serving you're doing. If you're doing a small loop, you don't have much room. So this this little fellow here would, could fit in fit into the job. And again, depending on the job you're doing, these these are basically simple. Uh, admittedly, you've got to have your ball of uh, serving material handy which has to be passed round and round the job. Now for, for what we're going to do we're going to use this little fellow here which is our standard wooden little mallet serving mallet which which has got the uh, ball of seizing twine serving uh, twine attached to it and you'll see that in action as we do the practical demonstration. And I guess the message is really 
depending on the job, you may already have a piece of gear that will do it. Uh, alternatively, you may just have to make something to suit the occasion. Right, now for the materials we'll be using. Uh, first of all, you've got your, we'll be using the using 25 millimeter natural fiber rope. This will also for a worm it to start with. Uh, in the real world we'll probably use this which is a, a lanolin saturated natural fiber and the same as this one mentioned before. However for our exercise we'll just use this cotton, cotton cord here. Uh, Again, if, if you're going to use this if for real, you would soak it in lanolin or tar before applying it to the rope. The, uh, so that takes care of our worming and our parceling. There, there are tapes available, a bit like electrical tape, but we'll be using this cloth, which we will be wrapping around around the, the rope. Now in a real situation again this would be saturated with preservative and then over the top of that we'll do our parceling and we'll use this cotton cord for this exercise on this little mallet. Right, the setup is most important as it gives you a firm base on which to work because the last thing you want to do is to have a floppy piece of line in your hand while trying to do this. So what we have here, we've got our prusik hitch on the line here secured to a strong point and the other end we've attached it to another strong point and cranked on a Spanish windlass to give it tension for the job to work on. Back there. So now it's all ready to start. On the ship when you're doing say a shroud which is as you can imagine is very long I usually put it in the tween deck and anchor one end and on the other end put a handy billy and secure it to a strong point and put a lot of tension on it to keep it nice and tight. And there are other devices for serving uh, which they use that can handle uh, large reels of serving twine. However, we're working on a small scale so you can see the actual process. Right, to start the worming, remember the lim limerick worm with the lay, worm and parcel with the lay and turn and serve the other way. So now we're going to put in our worming, so we're only going to do about that much. So we'll get a piece of cord and double it, we will then pass it through here. Pull it through. Oops, that's that's our single one. So we do that 
to there. And then if we rotate around here. And we'll take our doubled one. in the middle, pull that out, right, it's just a case of wind that around, one around oops and then the third one oh. and then Put a uh, clove hitch Oops, got myself tangled up here. And I'll do a strangler that way it won't come undone. So that's it, that's all the worming process consists of. In the real world, of course, this would be all covered in preservative material as you go. So now we'll move on to parceling. Now we'll do the parceling. Uh, there are special commercial tapes made for this, but we're just going to use some black fabric, which if you're going to use it really, it'd be actually soaked in, in uh, preservative. So it's a case of, now we're doing it with the lay, so round, pull it tight, and then go forward about 50% overlap, pulling it tight as you go, and go a bit past where you're going to finish, and then you could also tie this off. What you might do is back that off there. And we'll put this on square.
strangler on there to hold that. So that's the parcel over the top. Now that we've completed the worming and the parceling, it now comes time to do the serving. So we'll, as, as the uh, saying goes, worm and parcel with the lay, turn and serve the other way. So we'll now set up to do the serving. A uh, simple thing, we'll just tie this end off here. This, this sort of starts off in a similar manner to doing a uh, common whipping. It's probably the closest thing. In other words, you put it there like so, and then pass, pass the serving line around, drawing it tight. Just start just before the parceling starts and haul it taut. Uh, building in that tail. Oops, the wrong way there. Eh? When you're applying these first few turns. You can also use your heaving mallet to tension them. Just pass it around like so, around the back and up, and you can you can really pull some tension onto that, those turns. Now imagine if you wanted to do the whole length of this <coughs> the manner on which I'm doing now it would take you quite a while. So we'll just do these a few turns to start with. Just thumb on it to hold the tension, and you can just use a pair of these vice grips to squeeze it up and hold it. And now we can we'll set up the mallet put it here around the back. Just take this out of the road now. around the back, over the back, like so, and a few turns on there, and then Just putting the, putting the reel <coughs> onto the uh, serving mallet. And 
So if we put that over there, you can sort of see the arrangement, like so. And then it's just a case of you can take this off and pass this around. This little mallet on this job can exert a lot of force so depending on what you're using to do the, uh, the serving you can easily break If you need to leave the job, you can just leave it like that. The mallet provides enough weight to keep the tension on while you can regroup or have a uh, break. As you can see with this, this little Serving mallet, yep. it's the right tension, and you can always grip it here, grip it on the handle to in, to increase the tension of your turns. Now, to finish this off, use this piece of use this piece of cord, and build it in. Then continue
there we go, just past, just past your parsley. And then hold that. You can take out your serving mallet. And put that off there. Place it through this loop. And pull it back. And you could probably use your uh, serving mallet. in there pull that in like that And that is your serving complete. Here we're faced with a damage to our serving. It could go through to the parceling. However, in this case, we're lucky it only goes to the, to the serving. So we have to replace that. So to do that, we take unwind the serving back you could probably to prevent it losing any tension you could probably lock it off and then use your free And then you take the material, we'll use black as a contrast material to replace that serving. And build it in here. Again, we can use our serving mallet to exert load on that.
Ça. Right now, reach this point. You can then half hitch that with our replacement cord. And now change this over to this side. Right, so that's got that locked in. At this point, you so put in your your wire loop or a loop of thread around. And make this one here and pass the end the end up through there. Oops. And you have to oh, yeah, yeah. put it down tight. Back a bit. Yeah, this fellow here. Slacken that one off. Three or four turns there, pass that under there, and now you have to go secure all these.
and pull that up. Right, and then you can go through and trim off and thus repaired your damaged serving. This is one that could be quite often applied on the Craig. Um, some crew have spent a busy time redoing stays. One comes to mind the um, main topmast stay where they had to do this being lowered down along the stay and a bosun's chair. Took them a while but that's that's the way they did it. Because once, once that's finished you, you cover it with your rigging black etc to seal it up to keep the moisture out.